Donald Trump is desperate to prevent the January 6th select committee investigating, you know, the Capitol riot from getting any records from the White House from that particular day. And this week he has now threatened to sue the Biden administration. In fact, they say they plan to sue the Biden administration to prevent any documents, to prevent any witnesses from inside the White House of testifying in front of that committee. And of course, they're trying to exert executive privilege, even though he's not the executive. Biden's the executive. In fact, legal experts have already weighed in on this even before the threat of lawsuit. Executive privilege only applies to really one person, and that is the actual president of the United States which is not Donald Trump. So if Biden comes along, which he has, and he says, I'm not going to block any of this stuff from going, you want it, come get it. I don't care. He's not exerting executive privilege. So you can't claim executive privilege, even in your lawsuit, you're going to get laughed out of court as you have, by the way, on several other instances, when you've tried to claim executive privilege, even though you're not the executive anymore, we've seen how this story plays out several different times already this year, not to mention the fact that the January 6th committee, according to uh, Politico reporting is already coming up with ways to compel these individuals to testify. They're already coming up with workarounds to anyone trying to claim executive privilege, you know, trying to come up with workarounds for anyone, you know, that wants to plead the fifth amendment. They're already considering threatening, uh, you know, <laughs> congressional, uh, defy, uh, defying a congressional subpoena, possibly prosecuting people for that. They're already weighing these options, by the way, on that committee before they even have to use them. So this committee is being very serious about it. One other thing they're also talking about, by the way, is uh, offering immunity for individuals. So that way you don't have to worry about self-incrimination. We'll give you immunity. You don't have to worry. Come, you tell us everything. We're not going to touch you. Here's what gets me about this. Why is Trump fighting so hard to prevent the release of any documents? Why is he fighting so hard to prevent the testimony of the people that were with him inside the white house that day? What exactly is he afraid of the public knowing? Obviously I I'm sure it's bad. I'm sure it's bad, but how bad? Like that's the question I have and, and, and I don't have an answer for it, but think for a moment, folks. Donald Trump was in the white house as he's watching this unfold. We already have multiple different reports telling us that he was watching TV and he seemed giddy. He was happy about all this. They were showing his love, uh, showing him love, which he loves, but we already know all that. So how bad did it get that we don't know about? Did he intentionally drag his feet on releasing the national guard? Did he order the national guard to not be deployed? Did he try to give orders to tell the Capitol police to stand down, you know, stand back and stand by as he told the proud boys that time, what exactly transpired that day and how bad was it? If there wasn't something worth hiding, Donald Trump wouldn't be hiding it. Just like he tried to hide his college transcripts, just like he hides his tax information, just like he's hiding all these witnesses and documents for the other you know, investigation up in New York. There's something here. And hopefully once he loses those court cases, because he's not the executive anymore, hopefully we will learn exactly what is there and how bad Donald Trump's actions were on that day.